Hey everyone, so Sony PlayStation recent state of play had a Final Fantasy 16 trailer. When I saw Naoki Yoshida pop up at the end, I knew what it meant and my excitement skyrocketed. We knew a trailer was done and ready, but I was not prepared for this. This trailer blew me away. I was shaking in my chair, all while grooving to that amazing piece of trailer music, and by the end of it, I was actually teary-eyed. I cannot believe how hyped I am for this. It feels like I had three shots of espresso, and who needs coffee when you have the Final Fantasy 16 trailer to wake you up? Speaking of that amazing music, the composer is none other than Masayoshi Soken, and he is easily becoming my favorite composer. I cannot wait to hear more of this soundtrack. Based on what he's written for Final Fantasy XIV and what we've heard from the trailers, I feel like this soundtrack is going to be insane. You know what else is good for making you hyped? <laughs> the combat. And the combat in this game looks so good. The combat director is named Ryoto Suzui, and he worked on such games as Devil May Cry 5, Dragon's Dogma, and Marvel vs. Capcom 2, and boy does it show. The combat looks stylistic and fast-paced, kind of like Devil May Cry, while also being kinetic and fluid. In the trailer, I noticed notifications on the side for precision dodging and counter-attacking, staggering, all while swapping between different icons for different attack styles, you know, such as using Shiva to freeze an enemy, or swapping to Garuda for some crazy-looking aerobatic combat. It looks amazing. Even the way the damage numbers fountain out from the enemies looks slick as hell. But wait, there's more. Because they also showed huge icons fighting each other. I didn't expect that, and it looks freaking awesome. They didn't show any commands or anything, so I kind of wonder how it's going to work. Regardless, it's cinematic, it's badass, and I just hope it's not quick time events. Maybe this is turn-based combat, and they are just showing off the aftermath of using abilities? From the little bit that we've seen of the story beats, this is looking to be a serious story with political intrigue. It's really giving me these Game of Thrones vibes. Which is really not all that surprising, because the man behind the story is Kazutoyo Mahiro, who also worked on Final Fantasy XIV, Final Fantasy XII, and The Last Remnant. Those stories fit that bill to a T. And what makes me especially excited is his work for Heaven's Ward, which was an expansion for Final Fantasy XIV that had an amazing story tied behind it with lords and houses and lots of religious and political machinations. Also, I love the setting. Medieval high fantasy settings have always been some of my favorites, and it has been so long since a single player mainline Final Fantasy game was in this setting. So here are some screenshots that show off some of the environments, and they look gorgeous. They haven't made any mention on how big the world will be, but it looks pretty open from these screenshots. Either way, the environments are seriously amazing, and I cannot wait to step foot into this world. Which brings us to the release date, and it's coming out in the summer of 2023. Yoshida has said in the past that the game is basically done, and the team is just working on fine-tuning and QA. So, that is awesome. Square is giving them the time to make sure that when this game is finally released, it will be high quality. You know, usually being this hyped for a game is bad. How many times has a trailer just burned us in the past? <clears throat> Cyberpunk 2077? But Yoshida and his team at Business Unit 3, for the past 10 years, have been putting out high-quality content that has been amazing and often exceeded expectations. So I feel like this excitement is completely justified. I cannot stop smiling. It's going to be so hard to wait for this. Summer 2023? You can't get here soon enough. Anyways, what did you all think of the trailer? Did it hype you up as much as me? Did you feel like you just drank three shots of espresso and now you can't stop jittering in place? I don't mean to be so abrupt, but that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye!